In this Illustrator tutorial, I'm going to show you how to type around a circle. So we're going to look at how to type all the way around a circle and also how to split that circle so you can type on the top and type on the bottom. So let's first make a circle. Basically what we're going to do is click and hold on the rectangle tool, find the ellipse tool, the shortcut key is L, and create a circle out here while holding shift so it's a perfect circle. So we'll create that circle. I'm going to create a second one by holding Alt or Option on your keyboard and just clicking and dragging to duplicate. Uh, this is because we're going to look at two examples here. Now the first one over here, if we press the T key on our keyboard for the Type tool, you can see that as the T in your uh, Tools panel over here, we can actually type on this circle. And we could start by clicking on it anywhere. Actually, in this case, it might type on the inside. So I might make sure I click and hold, and instead of maybe it choosing area type, I'm gonna type on a path. And now anywhere I click on this circle, it's gonna be the starting point of my text. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in with some placeholder text, just by going up to type, down to fill with placeholder text, and now you can see that it has uh, typed around a circle. I can increase the font size so that we can actually see this. And now we have an in and an out point, and you can drag these uh, forward and backward to decide where exactly that type starts on your circle. You can kind of rotate that text around the circle. So if I wanted to start it here at the top and also end at the top, I could drag the in and out points to the same spot here. Now there's a few options as well with this. So if we go back up to type, we can see a type on a path dialog or a kind of drop down menu. And we actually have some type on a path options. So you have some quick ones here if you know what you want to do, but I'm going to go to type on a path options. So here we can flip it. I'm going to preview this so we can see what it does. You can see how flip it puts it on the other side of the line. We can align it to the ascender or the descender or the baseline or even the center of the text. You can see how that adjusts it. I'm going to unflip it here so we can actually see it. So if you wanted to type exactly in the middle of the circle you created, align it to the center. It's centered to the path. We also have spacing options, but you can adjust those spacing options in the character panel. And then the different effects will do some different things like skew your text or do a 3D ribbon, uh, stair step, we'll stair step the letters, and then gravity's an interesting one that doesn't look like it does much with this one, but with other types of type on a path lines and stuff it'll actually do something but generally rainbow is the one I leave it on and then you can align it however you want here I'm going to hit OK now what if we want to not just type in a circle but we wanted to type in a circle on the top and then on the bottom have the letters be readable going in the other direction kind of like a badge icon what we need to do is split the circle into two halves so to do that I'm going to press C on my keyboard that is the scissors tool you could click and hold on the erasers tool to find the scissors tool, but the shortcut key is C. Now I need to cut this path at these two uh, horizontal anchor points. So I'm gonna click on this one, and I'm gonna click on this one over here. Now what that does, if I press the V key for my move tool, is it gives me a path on the top and a path on the bottom. You can see that here, when I just clicked and dragged the top out a little bit, it's actually away from uh, the bottom of the circle. So we have two different half circles here. Now I'm going to press the T key on my type tool and of course click and type on a path here. I'm going to start it at this anchor point. Now if you need to and it doesn't do this correctly for you, you can always uh, click and hold like we did before and go to the type on a path tool just to make sure you have that tool selected. But I'm going to click on the first anchor point and we're going to just type in some some words. I'm going to write type on a path. So you can see how that goes around the top side of the circle. Now of course there's a few options like we talked about. If we grab our direct selection tool I believe we can grab the in and out points again so we could shift this stuff. Actually I'm clicking all the wrong things here. Maybe if I just grab my selection tool. Yeah. So there's a few different uh, if you can see the different types of cursors I have here. I'm not sure you can but Let's zoom in a little bit so we can actually see this. So you see we have a line that sticks out here, and that's that end point that I talked about. So you can bring this text to the middle of this circle just by adjusting these in and out points. So this is the midpoint right here. 
up top, there's a midpoint line, and then this is the out, and this is the in, which is the beginning of your text. So what I like to do is drag this to the very end of the anchor point, like the first anchor point, drag the out to this anchor point, and then you can actually center your text up top by centering it in the paragraph panel. So we're going to align the text to the center. Now, if you feel like that's off a little bit, you can still adjust these in and out some. Uh, if we click back on this, you can make some adjustments here, and then you have a midpoint that you can kind of shift everything together just to get it visually correct. But if you drag these to the beginning and end anchor points, you should be in a pretty good spot with that text being on top. Now you could type and make sure you have something that goes all the way around or make sure that you have a text size that works that kind of goes all the way around the circle. But then what we would do for the bottom is kind of do the same thing. So you want some type that goes in the other direction this way. So we're gonna click on this first anchor point and I'm gonna say type on bottom. Now we have an issue here, right? So it looks like it's going the wrong way. Well, remember we went to those type on a path settings up here in the type dropdown, and we can go to type on a path options. And for this bottom part, we can use that flip option. I'm gonna preview it, use that flip option. And you can see it put us inside of the circle and flip the text. So the text is correct, but to match this outside of the circle path, we need to uh, change where it's aligned to the path. So instead of baseline, we're going to do a sender, which puts it on the outside of the, the path. Now, to line this up a little bit better, my recommendation is if you're doing this type of top and bottom uh, type on a path, I would put it in the center. So I would align the path to the center and hit OK. And then we might need to adjust some uh, font size down here if I get it selected correctly might need to adjust this font size so it fits on the bottom here. And then you can always adjust some of your spacing and everything to make sure everything fits correctly. And then what I would do is come to the top here, do the same thing, kind of go to type on a path settings, adjust that so it's in the center of the path again, hit OK. And then you can make those same adjustments to the top if you need to. But that is how you can write text on the top and bottom of your path here. It looks like 100 is the point size. I changed that too. And so now the text on bottom matches the text on top. You can make sure these two circles line up exactly intersected with their um, anchor points again so that it actually is in a circle shape. You can put little, you know, now you can put little decorations in here to make sure that, uh, you know, this thing kind of looks like it's a badge or something. And then you can type in the center. But that's how you can put text on top and on bottom. Now, it's not on top and on bottom of a circle. What you have to do is split that circle, but this is how you can get that badge look and be able to type either fully in a circle or type on the top and the bottom of a circle. And those uh, you have to use those type on a path options to really get everything situated correctly and typed in the correct direction of your circle. And that's how you can type on a circle here in Adobe Illustrator.